Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and today I want to talk about a BBC article about better teacher teacher training for autism. This is a very important topic from my own perspective as someone on the autistic spectrum. I feel that teachers don't get any training on autism. I have actually talked to a teacher who's in my own family and she has actually instructed me that they only get an hour of autism training when they first start their jobs. This is a shambles. That is ridiculous. How the hell can you expect our UK teachers to teach autistic students with an hour's worth of training? And it's shocking. If you want our teachers to be there for students with special educational needs, autism, learning disability, you need to be getting them providing them with better training whether that's training from autistic people themselves which I'm more than happy to do I would love to go into schools and give them a half a day training on autism and actually get them to learn something or whether you actually have some UK government officials who actually are trained on autism who can go into schools and actually sit there and provide actual training for them so I agree with this article that I found on the BBC News website it's a article written by a autistic boy and his mother and his experiences of being mistreated in a school and it's just really sad to hear that still people with autism especially children are getting mistreated with their autism and the thing is it's all misunderstanding the school clearly in question hasn't had any autism training or has had very little awareness of autism and the problem is it led the boy to then leave that school and he was made to feel very very uncomfortable and was called names. That isn't good enough in the UK right now. We shouldn't be still calling people names. We shouldn't be making fun of autism or struggling to understand autism. Autism is such in the public media now that people always are hearing about it it's well known we have a local autism charity here in the uk who deal with this kind of thing all the time and it's just a shame as someone with autism myself that we have to still go through this stereotypical judgment and discrimination and lack of awareness when it should be on a priority i know the government the uk government anyway uh from 2000 and I think it was 2016 to 2020 were making autism a clinical priority uh, to get a better understanding and awareness out there of autism. So I don't understand why this hasn't come up underneath that issue. And it's just sad to me that, again, autism seems to be getting a bad judgment or a bad misunderstanding. And it makes autism look bad when you're mistreating one autistic child for being different. You shouldn't be doing that regardless if he was having challenging behaviour or not. It doesn't give the teachers and the students the right to make fun of him and make him feel so socially awkward that he left. And I think the problem is it's about time that we actually had autistic people go into schools and actually teach them about autism and give them some help and information that they can keep hold of, whether that's a information leaflet or a poster or giving them some tips via email of how to help autistic students within their school buildings, within their school term time. So I would be more than happy, you know, as someone with autism, to go into schools and to actually sit down and help the teachers understand how to better support their students. All it needs is better communication, and I feel that this has been one incident of a misunderstanding. I know the UK is getting better with awareness of autism but the problem is this one story then makes all the good awareness out there already one step back because again it seems like the UK is not understanding it and yeah I just want to give my thoughts on the article and kind of just say you know autism is hard to understand I get that I get that not a lot of teachers are trained on autism I'm not saying that this teacher was in the wrong or that she was only the bad person involved there was obviously underlying circumstances that haven't been noted in the article but again it's about how to support that autistic student whether it's him or another person on the spectrum it needs to be stopped now so that an autistic student doesn't have to go into a school and go through that go through the bullying and the stereotypical behavior 
and it's just not good enough. The UK government should be pushing this as a agenda. This should be put on the, the criteria when you are a teacher, when you do go into that teaching profession, one of the first things you should be taught about is autism. So, yeah, I'm going to wrap this up now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will link the article in the video description below so you can read more about it. But thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel for more content. Until next time, bye, guys.